Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you today. Thank you for subscribing. It's been great to see all the new subscribers lately. It makes a huge difference to the channel, and it means that more good news can go to more people. Just be, to be honest with you, that's really what this channel is all about. And one of the things it's about is educating people who have no idea what they're talking about and who claim EVs are not good for the environment. Now, this is the kind of video that is worth sharing with your friends who make that ridiculous argument, and here is why. U.S. Redwood Materials announces 100 gigawatt hour battery materials plant. Now listen carefully because it's not what you think it is. Now Redwood Materials is a company that was founded in 2017 in Carson City, Nevada by J.B. Straubel, Tesla co-founder and former CEO. They have recently announced a plan to produce battery materials on a mass scale in the U.S. Not the batteries, the materials. Now the company intends to supply battery cell manufacturing partners with strategic battery materials starting with anode copper foil and cathode active materials. Now the goal is to produce these materials from recycled batteries and thus create a circular supply chain for electric vehicles and clean energy products. Eventually there will be no need to mine any more lithium, any more manganese, any more copper or really any other materials that go into electric batteries because it will be a circular supply chain. Once a battery has been used it will be recycled and go into another battery. However initially the production will rely on mining as there are simply not enough old batteries for recycling in an expanding EV ESS market. Quote, Redwood, Redwood will produce strategic battery materials in the US, first supplying battery cell manufacturing partners with anode copper foil and cathode active materials. We plan to transform the lithium ion battery supply chain by offering large scale sources of these domestic materials produced from as many recycled batteries as available and augmented with sustainably mined material. These two copper products will become a closed loop and reuse all of the critical lithium copper nickel and cobalt that we already recover from old batteries these materials will be built from more and more recycled battery content every year but in the immediate future we need to ramp ev production faster than the number of existing evs will reach end of life and therefore be available for recycling quickly ramping up the domestic battery material supply chain and using the highest possible percent of local recycled raw materials is the best way we can meet the us's 2030 electrification goals now remember tesla is aiming to make manufacture two terawatt hours of battery cells in-house by 2030 and to buy one terawatt hours in addition of battery cells from suppliers in 2030. In other words, they're aiming to own between 20 to 40 percent of the entire global automotive market by 2030. That is one insanely impressive goal. And let's be honest, even if they only get halfway to that goal, that would be an astronomical achievement. Now, the great thing about this, local production based on recycling is expected to be much simpler, more viable and environmentally friendly than today's supply chain where obviously raw minerals are mined and get sent all over the planet. Or think about it, when they're recycled, they'll be recycled locally and then made into a new battery locally. It's much more logical, cost less, much more envi environmentally friendly. And the entire system is just, it's really a brilliant concept. So Redwood are planning to have enough materials for 100 gigawatt hours by 2025. And reports are that the majority of that, maybe all of it, will go to Tesla. And obviously Tesla is being extremely aggressive with their battery expansion. They're wanting to produce a lot more. Obviously they're having some delays with their 4680 battery cells right now but they're currently trying to shore up as much supply as they can from a range of different manufacturers lg cam catl panasonic and even potentially byd so in early 2022 redwood materials will announce a site for the north american battery materials manufacturing facility with an annual output of 100 gigawatt hours of cathode active materials and anode foil by 2025 it's estimated that's enough to produce batteries for 1 million electric vehicles if each electric vehicle ran on a 100 kilowatt hour battery which they won't the average will be about 50 so you're looking at about the equivalent of about 2 million electric vehicles now within another five years by 2030 output will increase from the factory to 500 gigawatt hours per year which would be enough for 10 million electric vehicle batteries just from this one factory now obviously this battery this factory is not making the batteries they're recycling the materials and turning them into what other companies need now the company said this by early 2022 redwood will announce a site for our north american battery battery materials manufacturing facility aiming to produce 100 gigawatt hours a year of cathode active materials and anode foil for 1 million electric vehicles by 2025. By 2030, we expect our production output to scale to 500 gigawatt hours a year of materials, which would enable enough batteries to power 5 million electric vehicles and really, well, 10 million if they're using 50 kilowatt hour batteries each, or nearly half of the US's annual vehicle production. Now, in late July of 2021, Redwood Materials announced a 700 million external investment round 
which indicated that the project is in a really advanced stage. Now, the company also revealed at the time that it already partnered with Panasonic at the Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada and Envision AESC in Tennessee, which is Nissan's battery supplier, as well as Amazon. So it's obvious here, guys and girls, that Red Bull Materials is trying to become a main supplier to Tesla. And considering their links here, JB Straubel being the co-founder of Tesla, well, obviously there's something going on. Now, Tesla's obviously aiming to massively scale up their 4680 battery cells to really enormously increase production for those. And they're gonna to wanna to be doing that as quickly as they possibly can. Look at demand for EVs in the United States right now. It's going through the roof. Tesla just can't possibly keep up. And obviously a lot of that has to do with battery constraints. But fortunately, Tesla are building the Austin, Texas Gigafactory where they're gonna need a literal shit ton of batteries for all the Cybertrucks. They've got 1.3 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck with each of those Cybertrucks having say a 120 to 150 gigawatt hour battery. That is an enormous amount of batteries needed by that one factory. Astronomical amount of batteries needed. So while Tesla's building their own battery plants, they need to find supply, the battery materials, and JB Strubble's company is gonna be helping to provide that. Now, I personally think there's a very good chance that this company will be acquired by Tesla at some point in the future. But that's just my two cents. Who knows? I could be wrong. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.